just landed in Kateri and we're, we came from Dalman and stopped in Istanbul. So it's been a couple hours, kind of tired. So we're just getting our luggage and then we're going to head to the hotel. to go snowboarding. It's my first time. Nico is a pro, but I'm super excited. Look at this mountain. I'm a little nervous because I'm really clumsy and I tend to be like really have a lot of coordination with working out, but for some reason like sports and stuff, I don't have that much coordination. So we'll see how how it goes. This is my uh, thermal onesie. It's thermal material from Zara. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So guys, we've been at the Radisson Blue for about a day now. Um, we're gonna venture out to the ski resort. But if you guys are ever here at the Radisson Blue, you have to make sure to visit my friend Ahmet right here. He's been extremely Hello. helpful. <laughs> He's been extremely helpful to us and you know he's literally made everything happen in a matter of five minutes. He's already connected us with people in Cappadocia, so things are happening right here. So again, I'm a pleasure man, thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah. What's your number one tip for Kayseri? And uh, number top in Red Sun Bullet. <laughs> yeah? Number yeah. one yeah. tip. Yeah. So stay tuned, we're gonna well, Tiff is going to learn how to snowboard in the next hour, so that'll be interesting. And I guess I'll be teaching her how to do that. So stay tuned. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Suited and booted. Got the gear going on. Tiff is such a small human being that they had to pull out the kitty helmets for her. <laughs> and they still don't even fit. Well, they do fit. They're just. Now they're experimenting with kid sizes. because you went longer than I thought. How do you feel? Feel good. Nice. She went a lot further from the top than I thought, which is excellent. And we're not trying to do anything complicated. God, I look like such a bug with these glasses, but um, she's doing great. All we're trying to do is get her comfortable with falling, which she has done an amazing job at. So now from the first few runs, I was holding her hands, helping her, and now it's her on her own falling, so she's learning really fast. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. It's really fun. I feel like I'm kind of a natural, not professional, but kind of, like, I think I've seen other people have it way harder of time than me. Yeah, no, absolutely. You picked up really fast. But I still, when I was going really, really fast, I get scared. It's like my subconscious mind, and then I just freak out and make myself fall. So I'm trying to, before we leave, go all the way down. Not this one, though. No, you don't the this beginner one. one. Yeah, the little bunny slope. <laughs> Ready? No. <laughs> 
By this time of day, it's not even snow, it's just ice. <laughs> so if you fall, you're going to feel it. <laughs> So I got Nico going down a little bit. He could be currently still going down. I kind of lost him. Um, and I'm heading back on lift by myself because like we said before, I'm not at the level to do it myself yet. But so pretty up here. I like that it's all closed in, unlike those other ones where you're just like hanging off. But yeah, I love it. Like I can't even feel the heat. How is it? Great. So Tiff is coming for redemption. <laughs> She's gonna do the whole hill by herself. Yeah. She's gonna own it. I'm gonna do it. Got this. Right? And if I fall, then okay. You won't fall. You won't fall. Right? So it's our last day here in Kayseri and then we're taking a bus or cab to Cappadocia for a couple days. I already went but Nico hasn't experienced it yet and so we're going back again together this time. Um, I wanted to show you guys pop on right here because I wanted to chat about I feel like we're always showing like all these like adventures and cool things we're doing but sometimes we just have days where we're doing nothing and a lot of days we have days where we're just like working all day so um and I don't even mean doing absolutely nothing but I just mean like working and stuff like that so I don't always show that in between all of our like fun adventures we usually come back to our wherever we're staying in and Nico is always working for all his clients and working on his laptop and then I'm either editing or filming my workout videos or working with my clients and then today we um before we check out of this place Nico's downstairs working and I'm just kind of giving him his space and um chilling in the hotel room and I'm probably gonna film a workout soon and um I'm just gonna like I just literally put oil in my hair massage my scalp just giving myself some like chill time and then I'm gonna like pop in the shower and try and fix myself up to film like a workout video but um yeah I wanted to show that side of things um because think we don't always talk about it or show it and um, it's not nomad life isn't always just like fun 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 um, you know all these fun adventures and exploring you have to have that balance of work and play and um, yeah so I just wanted to hop on and talk about that <laughs> 